Good morning. It's day 11 on the Camino. I'm feeling good this morning. I took my Arnica tablet. Um, probably at my first stop I will take some Tylenol. Um, but I am still just going to take it slowly. So there are a couple of detour options today and I think I'm going to take one of them. So instead of going 16 straight kilometers into Najera, I think I'm going to take a short little, I think it's only like 800 meter detour down to Ventosa to break up the 16 kilometers. Um, but I'm glad that I'm doing the long stretch in the morning. Um, I find that the long stretches, I think even though you, you stop less during them because there are less things to stop and see, they just get kind of tiring and taxing on the brain. Um, so I will take that um, detour. I think that means I have about six kilometers uh, out the gate before I get to a stop and then um, 10 kilometers until Najera and then I'm going to take a long break in Najera and eat and relax and then I just have five more kilometers after that to Azofra. So I sent ahead um, half of my stuff again um, in my small little uh, tote bag which just lightens the load. It's, it's so much better and worth it um, and hopefully that'll be waiting for me in Azofra. So see you along the way. a plan to meet Yorica here but the place where we were gonna meet there wasn't first of all any shade second of all there was nowhere to eat and I thought it was gonna be like a plaza with a church and it wasn't so I continued on just a little bit and found a place to eat Ooh, I'm gonna fill up my water um, but I didn't see Yorica and I waited there for about an hour um, so I'm continuing on to Azofra. It's only 5.75 more kilometers. I feel really good after my hour long break. So I am uh, ready to get on with the rest of the day. just climbing up this hill. It's super hot again in the 90s. Again, I feel like I've had one day in the 70s. Every other day has been in the 90s or 100. I think it's going to let up 
in a couple days, but I'm just expecting this every day. So I don't have too much left. And I was going up this hill and it was hot and hard and a little breeze blew and cooled me off a little bit. And it got me thinking about how one of the things that you learn about on the Camino or that you're reminded of, perhaps we all already know this, I certainly have learned this before in life, is that to appreciate and feel grateful for the little things, like a little breeze to cool you off when you're puffing up a hill and it's super hot. Um, even just like having my umbrella, I'm so thankful for. It got me thinking about, you know, in my, in my daily life at home, how comfortable I live. Um, even though I live, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, I have my own apartment, but I live in a really small apartment in a dorm at a high school. Um, it's still so comfortable. I mean, I just think about like, I have my own bathroom. I have this really comfortable bed. I have a air conditioning unit in the window. So if I get hot, I can just sit or lay in front of it. I mean, there's all these possibilities to feel comfortable in my day-to-day -day life. And that's such a privilege. Um, when you're on the Camino, there's a lot of discomfort. You are, um, you know, sometimes I'm walking alone. Actually, a lot of times I'm walking alone. Most of the time I feel very safe and comfortable. Um, but there are some, you know, sometimes some seedy parts where I get in my head and I get a little paranoid. Um, most of the time you're sharing a bathroom with many other people. You're sharing a bed with other people because you're sleeping in a bunk. So even just to have the bottom bunk <laughs> is uh, just a nice treat. Um, sometimes you don't know when the next water will be. I've run out of water a couple of times. Uh, or when the next food option will be. All these things. Um, your body's hurting all the time pretty much. <laughs> But when you, for example, I just took, you know, an hour break and I stood up and I started walking again and it's like I have a new body after a break. I just got recharged and I'm so thankful for those stretches where my body feels really good and I feel like I can make it all the way to Santiago, which is no small feat. Um, let me just remind you, if you're thinking about doing the Camino, it is definitely not an easy walk. Um, you're, you know, you have to deal with the elements the body fatigue, the mental fatigue, and if you're walking when it's hot, you know, getting up early every day, way earlier than I get up for my normal job, but you're also out in this beautiful, beautiful landscape in Spain, through these old cities, meeting people from around the world, um, realizing your own strength. It's really an incredible experience and I'm just grateful for the small things like seeing the wildflowers on the side of the road, the butterflies, and this view that's coming out in front of me right now. It's really spectacular. So just uh, pausing here for a moment to be grateful for the little things that come along the way in life and on the Camino. So this rock looks like a guy's side profile. If you can see the if I can use my pole. The nose sticking out there and the mouth and then this is like the hair on top. <laughs> cool. This is a beautiful walk this afternoon. to Azofra. Look at this beautiful view from my room. I'm going to shower and then get into that salt water pool and have this nice room. So this used to be a palace. He said it's like 400 years old and the guy who built it was a banker and I guess like building it brought economy and wealth to the cities and so people really liked him. Um, totally a splurge, like 140 euros, <laughs> but 
Um, I'm excited about it. Here's the bathroom. There I am all hot and sweaty after walking 23 kilometers. Nice shower. Um, I just, you know, wanted to have just something really lovely and nice. So I'm excited about this little splurge. And then I think Yorka is going to come and stay in the second bed um, and help pay for a little bit of it. But I told her that she doesn't have to pay for half of it. Um, so yeah, I'm, oh gosh, I'm looking forward to that pool. You want to show off your new outfit? Because <laughs> you left all of your clothes. In the all badge, so stupid. Well, but not on the drying line. Just on the bunk above you. So this is the stylish fashion of Nahera. And the most funny part is yesterday I really need a shower. So I was drying myself with my scarf because that was the only <laughs> thing I had. But it's not a good idea because it's just one and you have to <laughs> That's what I've been using the whole time is a scarf, a sarong as <laughs> my towel. It's Except in this hotel where they give you giant towels. <laughs> it's really, this is the small one. <laughs> I will explain. This is, um, this is how big my towel is <laughs> because I'm a pilgrim. It's really, really incredible. Okay, it's time for pilgrim errands, which involve going to the supermarket. <laughs> And this looks like someone's house. <laughs> it's <right. laughs> Maybe it's behind it. Well, open and going to the pharmacy to get more drugs. <laughs> and then finding food. This is our, this is our life. Need heroin, ecstasy, what do you need? <laughs> not, Spade. <laughs> not those kinds of drugs. I think it's very useful. The we need lots of Advil and Tylenol and oh, Arnica. <laughs> Wait, is it, do we go in this door? I have no this is like idea. someone's house. Oh, look. oh, maybe it's over here. Oh, I can't wait to see what this supermarket is like. I think it really is someone's house. We just built the, um, the lowest Oh, level. there's signs in English. How nice. Oh, that's really nice. Let's see. Hola. Oh my gosh, it's so small. <laughs> Hola. Do you want to explain the pilgrim's menu? Um, okay, are you ready? We're ready. Well, um... It's uh, the menu has some snacks on it. To be sure, you really know where to look. <laughs> so you're very. Late. And um, yeah, well, it's just macaroni with some. Well, you ketchup. get to, you get so it's like 11 euros. You get bread and typically wine, although we ask for water. And then you get a first course. So I got a mixed salad, which always has tuna on it. And she's Yorick, I got. Macaroni with ketchup, <laughs> some unidentifiable meat. <laughs> I'm afraid it's her husband. <laughs> and then uh, we'll show you the second course when we get it. Okay. <laughs> course two is very flat chicken with fries <laughs> or white, some kind of white fish. I'm kind of, I don't know. We're, we're kind of afraid of this restaurant. <laughs> this, is a, this is a very weird town. <laughs> Okay, third course. I got an ice cream. On a plate. <laughs> and Yorick, I got a piece of melon. an interesting dinner experience. <laughs> well, it was a horrible well, well, it wasn't very good. <laughs> and there were flies everywhere. <laughs> That's right. Including in the kitchen. And she was putting everything in the microwave. <laughs> everything went in the microwave. But 
all of the people in the town all came to the restaurant and there were some good people watching so we, we've decided that this is a very weird town <laughs> I want to leave and never come back <laughs> but the hotel is very very nice yes. so it's very expensive very nice very it makes good. up for it oh look at those cool clouds I'm crying, but I'm really laughing. <laughs> now you're just gonna have to hike in that one outfit. That's all you have. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> That's very expensive. No, you have to hike just in this. Yeah, this is rice. This rice. Just, this is just ten euros. That's all. <laughs> 